Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte from Amala Movement. Today we have a very special, very magical teddy bear yoga adventure. So bring along your favorite teddy bear or cuddly panda or cuddly rabbit. Just make sure that they are nice and soft. Let's get started. our adventure today by getting ready and I think it will be a very sensible idea to put on our Wellington boots. So can you sit on your bottom, put your legs out long and put teddy bear on your lap. Reach all the way up towards the sky, take a deep breath in and reach towards your toes and pull up your favourite pair of Wellington boots and they're so big they go all the way up to your belly button. Let's do the other side. Stretch your arms up tall. And then reach towards your toes and pull your Wellington boots all the way up your leg. And it goes all the way up towards your belly button. Good, let's do the same for Bear. Put Bear on your lap. And he needs to put on his Wellington boot all the way up and all the way up the other leg. I think it's gonna be sunny today. Let's put on our sun hat. Can you stretch up tall? Grab hold of your hat and put it all the way down on your head. And you love this hat so much, so you need to sit nice and tall and show it off to everyone around the room. Maybe you can have a little wave. Let's do the same with Bear. Can you put on Bear's favorite sun hat? Good. And to be safe, let's put on our coat as well. So one arm, can you put it all the way out towards the side? Put it through the sleeve of your favorite coat and wiggle your fingers when they poke out the side. Good, let's do the other one. Putting your arm all the way through the sleeve of your coat. And when it gets out the other side, give your fingers a little wriggle. Excellent, let's do the zip up. All the way up. Good, let's put on Bear's coat as well. Bear can put his arm all the way through the sleeve. And then all the way through the other sleeve. Good, don't forget to do up his zip as well. Okay. Rucksacks on. I think we are ready for an adventure. Can everybody stand up? And we're gonna go for a little walk. Lifting your knees up really high. And can you walk forwards? And backwards. Can you walk up on your toes? Can you walk backwards on your toes? And can you walk down low? Like we're creeping around. Excellent. So let's have a look around and see what we see. Bend your knees, put on your binoculars and have a slow look around the room. I see a forest, a magical enchanted forest. And in this forest are lots and lots of trees. I wonder, can we come into our tree pose and you can hold your cuddly bear at your heart? Can you stand as tall as a tree, as strong as a tree, and as quiet as a tree? Good, let's swap legs. Take your time. You might be a bit wobbly, but take a big breath and a big breath out. And in this tree, next to us, we see an owl, a beautiful, wise old owl. And he's sitting on the branch next to us and he's got the most beautiful wings and they flap really, really slowly. So can you flap your arms? And this beautiful owl, he is guarding this magical enchanted forest. And we go over to Mr. Owl and we ask him, can we join you? And he says, of course you can. So we go and sit next to him. And he asks if we can help him guard this beautifully magical enchanted forest. So we sit next to the owl and we move our heads really, really slowly. And we're looking around. And we're so quiet. 
let's look one more time over towards the side. And it turns out that we've been here for a very, very long time. Hours and hours have passed next to Mr. Owl. So we're feeling a little bit hungry. So we decide to have a picnic. So come and sit on your bottoms. And Bear can sit on your lap too. And we can stretch up as tall as we can. And we reach behind us and pick up your favorite jam sandwich. Give it a little taste. Mm. And if you like your jam sandwiches, then you can rub your tummy and go, mmm. And maybe Bear can try some jam sandwich too. And if Bear likes it, then you can rub his tummy and you can go, mmm. Good, let's have another little sandwich. Stretch your arms up as tall as you can. Twist behind you. And this time we're gonna grab a silly sandwich. Pick it up. And my silly sandwich is full of green slime. I'm feeling a bit brave, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a taste. I don't like slimy sandwiches. Bear, do you like slimy sandwiches? Bear doesn't like slimy sandwiches either, but it's okay because we can wash it down with a big cup of tea, my favorite. So can you hold the biggest cup of tea you have ever held, like this big? And we're gonna have a really big slurp. You can rub your tummy and you can go, mmm. Bear, would you like some tea? And Bear can go, mmm. And maybe you and Bear can have a big slurp of tea. Can you rub both of your tummies? Mmm. <laughs> okay, good. We are refueled and we're ready to go. So put your binoculars back on. Have a slow look around the magical enchanted forest. And all the way over there, we see a tunnel. And we're feeling so brave. And Mr. Owl says it's okay for us to go. So let's do it. Let's go into the big, big tunnel. So come up and we're going to make a tunnel with our bodies. So Bear is gonna go first and Bear can walk through the tunnel. <laughs> Good. And then this tunnel, it gets a little bit smaller so we can come onto our knees. And again, the brave Bear can walk all the way around the tunnel. We look ahead and we see some rocks. And we love playing on rocks. So can you make a rock with your body? Get as small as you can and pop your bear on top of your rock. Cover your eyes and you have to be as still as you can so that bear doesn't fall off. If you wriggle too much, oh no, bear might fall off. So as still as you can for five, four, three, two, one, and very slowly lift your head up, grab hold of Bear, hold him next to your tummy, and we find the most delicate, sparkly, beautiful piece of gold thread. And we decide to follow it. So can you put your finger on this magical, sparkly piece of thread? And we see that this thread goes all the way around your body and it makes a big circle. And we know that this gold magical thread making a circle is our safe circle. And this gold magical thread goes all the way up towards the sky. So can you stand up and reach it up? And it goes around our body when we're standing up. And then it comes all the way back down towards the floor. At the end of this magical gold thread is some dust. So let's pick it up. And this looks like gold fairy dust. Can you twinkle your fingers? Stretch up high. And we're gonna cover ourselves in this gold magical fairy dust. So twinkle it all over your face. Notice how it might tickle a little bit. Put it on your chest, down your arms, on your belly, on your back. 
sit on your bottom so you can put all of this gold sparkly fairy dust all the way down your legs, around your ankles and around your toes. And this gold magical fairy dust has magic powers and it can take us anywhere in the whole wide world that we want to go. So let's go there. Let's come down onto our backs and put bear on your belly. Close your eyes and dream of your favourite magical place. And maybe you really want to go to Disneyland. Maybe you really want to go underneath the sea to see all of the mermaids and fish. Maybe you want to go and explore the moon or you want to find a jungle. So close your eyes and notice how does this make you feel? Maybe it makes you feel really excited or really, really relaxed. Take one more breath. And we're slowly like butterflies, going to flutter our eyelids open. Put your feet on the floor. And we'll finish by giving Teddy Bear a little ride, a little roller coaster ride. So lift your hips up and Teddy goes, woo, all the way up towards the sky. And then slowly bring him back down. Roll onto your side and come all the way up to seated. Cross your legs. Give Teddy Bear a big hug, wrap him around your body and say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Teddy Bear. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye.